Let's create a new PDF editor based on Ptfium Viewer. Let's name it PDFium Based PDF Editor that can merge, split, rotate, and delete PDF files. We will implement all these features in this series one by one. First of all, we shall create a nice looking user interface based on MS Office 2013 ribbon theme. In this part, we will create the user interface. Let's change the name of this form. First of all, we will download the requisite NuGet packages to make this UI work. We will download the ribbon when form NuGet and two other NuGet packets related to PD Fium Viewer. Let's add the main panel, inside which we will add two separate panels, one for the top and other to accommodate our PDF file, which will be opened in this PDF editor. This is our main panel, which we have docked fully inside the form. This will the top panel, which we will dock in top. This is the panel that will be placed below the top panel and our Ptfium viewer will be attached in this panel. Now, we will add the requisite NuGet packages to make this UI work. Here, we are adding the ribbon WinForm NuGet. Then we will add Ptfium Viewer Nougats. In addition, and this is very important because without this Nougat, this code will give error that the Ptfium.dll is missing. To escape this issue, we will add native x86 node v8 no x for nougat. Let's rename it to main form. Let's add the ribbon. If the ribbon is not visible in toolbar, please restart Visual Studio. As we can see, the ribbon has now become visible in the toolbar. Let add in our top panel and adjust its look slightly. Let's rename the first tab to Home and add a ribbon panel in first ribbon tab. Then, we will add buttons in the ribbon panel as per our need.
All the settings of the ribbons are to be adjusted from this Properties tab of the ribbon. Try to change these settings to get the desired look. Let's add a buttons group, inside which we will add different buttons like open file button, etc. Let's add the open button inside this buttons group. Let's also add icon to this button and adjust the settings of this button. Let's make little adjustments to the visibility of the open button. This appears to be adjusted now. Oops, it looks like a little bit of adjustment is still needed. Let's now add the open file code to our program so that we can check how the PDF file will look inside our PDF editor. Copy and paste this code inside the click handler even of the open button. Also add this PDFIAM related code inside the program.
Initialize the instance of the PD FIM viewer. It looks like the code part is done. Let's check how our brand new PDF editor looks now. Not bad. Let's now try to open a PDF file in our PDF editor. Wow, our new PDF editor is working nice. In the upcoming parts, we will tweak adjustments in the settings of the PD FIM viewer to make it look more professional. Also, we will implement features like merge PDFs, split PDFs, rotate and delete pages of the PDFs, and so on and so forth. Subscribe our channel to see the upcoming parts. Do share feedback and comments as to what additional features you would like to implement in this PDF editor in future, and we will try to add those features based on the open source libraries if possible. Thanks a lot for watching.